Hi to, to my channel Go Digit. Today, in this video, we will learn about how to print or create QR code for RDLC reports. Okay, so before we should start writing the code, let me show you the output of how uh, the QR code actually looks in the reports. So, for example, I can click on this link QR printer. And you can see that it is uh, made from data item uh, item table. And let me click on preview. And here it is. Now you can see here that it is printing item number, item description, and the QR code. Right. So guys, if you uh, if you are a regular uh, viewer of my channel then you uh, you already know about it that last to last week we have uh, made a video on how to create barcode reports right so in a similar fashion qr code can also be printed there is uh, no difficulty exact the same code we need to write only the object name will be changed and rest of the work will be done by the business center sas only for on prem of course you need to download the fonts first and then only you can use it but for SAS there is no need to download and install any fonts on your local machine it will work it will work uh, on the go okay so let's see how to develop this report so this is my project and let me create a file qrprinter.al We need to create one report. Default layout is RDLC. RDLC layout is QR printer dot RDL. Okay, we don't need this one request page and we don't need actions rendering. So let's delete all this code. Now let's change the data item to table item and then the columns are, we will take three columns, item number, description, and then the third column will be encode string. Okay, so let's call this here. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> now we have added the columns which we want to print in our report. Let's move to the code part. So trigger on after get record. <coughs> Begin end. Let's create a variable also. So here guys, let's see the variables which we need to create. Okay. So the variables are first of all, barcode symbology. Okay. It will be type enum barcode symbology 2D. Last time for barcode, we have used this one, barcode symbology. But for QR code, we have to use this object, barcode symbology 2D. Okay. Now, let's barcode provider, second variable. It will be of type interface. And this one also should be barcode font 
provider 2D. Okay, last time we have used simple barcode font provider, but this time for QR we will use 2D objects. Okay, let's start writing the code. First of all, encode string we need to pass description. Okay, we will pass the description to the encode string. Second thing is to our interface. Let's select barcode font provider 2D ID automation 2D. Okay, because by default Microsoft gives the support of ID automation. So we will be telling the system that do use the ID automation 2D fonts. Okay, so after this barcode symbology enum barcode symbology 2d and now you can see that there are different types of codes which we can print based on our need whether it is s tag data matrix maxi code pdf 417 or qr code our requirement is to print qr code so we will use this Otherwise, if your requirement is any of these fonts, so you can use those things. Let me select QR code. Now, we need to type barcode provider dot encode font and it will take two parameters. The first one is it will take the input text and the second one it takes barcode symbology 2d enum okay so input text is encode string and second one is barcode symbology right so let's pass this to encode string and that's it guys as soon as you write this code so it will encode your string okay and pass it to the column which will get print the qr code in the output okay so which i have shown you here so this is the way through which we can print the qr code so it is very simple guys uh, i know if you have not watched the barcode video then please watch that first so that you understand the concept in more detail but uh, even if you have not watched, then uh, this video is also very simple because we just have to change the few objects names and rest of the work will be done by automatically. Okay, one thing is that now when you press Ctrl Shift V, it will generate this RDN. So here what you need to do is that open it externally. Let's create a table number description encode string now for this encode string we have to change the font of this so here what you need to do is that go back to your object and simply copy this string id automation 2d right so you just go there and go to the text box properties go to the font change this to id automation 2d that's it now it will print the qr code for this column because you've changed the font and use the id automation 2d which has the default support in microsoft business central sas version okay so that's all in the today's video guys i would like to show you that how to print qr code in case you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel Thank you so much for watching this video.